good morning students as you all know that we are going to start our first term exams from 23rd october so children we have to prepare for those exams right so today we are going to do the revision of all the chapters that will be coming in our first term exam children today we will be doing the revision of our english chapters and in the next part of the revision we will cover grammar and writing skill topics okay so we will not waste much time and let's start with the revision so children this is the first part of our revision first question we have is meanings the first meaning is prance meaning of the word prance is to walk or move with high springy steps next restive restive means restless fidgety unable to remain still clothes line the meaning of the word clothes line a rope or wire on which washed clothes are hung to dry fourth meaning volcano volcano is an opening in the earth's crust from where the molten rock flows out next we have is crust crust is the outermost shell of the earth molten molten are the metals liquefied by heat the metals that we find underground lava lava is a hot molten erupted from a volcano eighth plume a cloud of smoke that spread around the sky ninth crown a silver coin that was used in england in the past tenth peep peep means to look quickly at something especially through a narrow opening question number 2 that is roman number 2 we have is complete the following lines now children these are some of the lines that are picked from the poems so you have to complete this lines and how are you going to complete it you have to learn the poem thoroughly then only you will be able to complete this lines okay so let's start like restive dash so the answer is the whole line is like restive horses they caper and prance second angels of light dash so angels of light have set out every road is a gleam third one we have is time sitting on an old roof dash time sitting on an old roof flies pigeons in the sky fourth one if by easy work you work dash if by easy work you beat who the more will prize you fifth one there's a dash so there's a silver house in the sky sixth she was my dash she was my handkerchief not long ago next we have is question number 3 answer the following first question what is described in the poem so now this is from the first poem that is 2.1 clothes line so the question is what is described in the poem answer to this question is the poetess charlotte describes the clothes on the clothes line swaying in wind and waiting to be free next question we have is what do restive horses do answer restive horses are unable to remain still they dance in lively playful manner and they move with high springy steps question number 
what is Krakatoa known for? Now Krakatoa students as we have studied before it's an island right? So the question is asked about the island why the island is famous or why it is known for. So the answer to this question is Krakatoa is known for its volcano that erupt regularly which means it is an active volcano. Question number four. Where is the island of Krakatoa? The island of Krakatoa is in Sunda Strait between the Java and Sumatra in Indonesia. Fifth question. Who was Thiruvalluvar? Answer. Thiruvalluvar was a great Tamil saint poet. So he was a saint as well as poet. Sixth question, who lives in the silver house? How is he? Answer, a man who seems to be lonely, whose name no one knows or no one likes to say, lives in the silver house. Now this is an imagination, okay? Question number seven, what did Thiruvalluvar do for living? Answer, Thiruvalluvar wove beautiful fabrics and saris and sold them in the market. Question number 8. What is there in the lovely sky? Answer, there is a silver house in the lovely sky. Question number 9. How much time does it take to build up and pull down the house? Answer, it takes two weeks to build up and pull down the silver house. Tenth question, what did the farmer do with the cotton? The farmer picked the cotton from each ball and gave it for spinning. Next we have is antonyms that are also called as opposite words. The first one is politely. Opposite of politely is rudely. Second, calmly. Opposite of calmly is violently. Third, carefully. Opposite, carelessly. Fourth, softly. Opposite, harshly. Fifth, never. Opposite, always. Sixth, gaining. Opposite of it is losing. Seventh, sturdy means strong. So the word opposite of sturdy is delicate. Patience. Opposite is impatience. Question number five. Children over here we have rhyming words. Rhyming words are the words that sound similar. First one is crown. Rhyming of it is down, crown, down. Second, way, way, say. Third, blind. Answer, find. Fourth, bear. Rhyming word is there, bear, there. Fifth, fro. Fro, go. Sixth, prance. And its rhyming is dance. Seventh, sun. Fun. 8B. Rhyming word is C. 9th ago. Rhyming word is no. 10 row. Rhyming is snow. Row snow. So children, here we finished with the first part of our first term revision. Children, everybody study hard. And I wish you all good luck for your exam and do the best. Give your best and pass out with flying colors. As you all have worked hard throughout this semester. So all the best for your exams. Now I take a leave from you all. Bye bye. Thank you and have a nice day ahead.